Well, you asked me not to say anything, so I didn't. Your dad thinks that you got the bruises from a guard. Well, I hate his prison. The guards don't like people with the last name Corinthos. So. What else did you talk about? Uh, your dad said he's trying to get you out of here as soon as he can. So you just talked about me the entire time? Well, we talked about business. You know, we, we have a few problems with Johnny right now. And you can't deal with it because you're in here. So not only am I messing up your personal life with Sam, business is taking a hit too. Sorry. Okay, Michael. None of this is your fault. And just so you know, I do not regret my decision. This is where I have to be until we can figure a way to get you out of here. <laughs> Brooklyn, wow, it's great to see you. Yeah, you look, you look amazing. Thank you. Are, are you here in town with your mom or something? No, no, actually my mom, she's in Europe. Yeah, she's managing a couple bands, running some concerts, I don't know. She actually lives in London, so I don't get to see her too much. Oh, and what about you? I mean, did you finish music school? I mean, you were amazing up there. Oh, thank you. You know, you don't have to say that. I'm not saying it. You were great. You've always been a great singer, man. I remember those concerts we used to have back in the day. Okay, <laughs> hands off. Dante is taken. Oh, no, 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 Maxie, it's okay. There's a good friend of mine from back home, Brooklyn. Brooklyn, Ashley. yes, I know her. She used to live here. Hey, nice job up there. Thank you. you said you guys used to know each other? Ah, she's a quarter maid. Tracy is her oh. grandmother. Uh, me and Brooklyn, we, we actually go way back. The Bensoners families grew up on the same street and everything. Okay. What a small world. Uh, excuse me. Did I just hear you were a quarter maid? I am. Oh, me too. I'm Maya Ward, Edward's great granddaughter. Hi, Brooklyn Ashton, Edward's other great granddaughter. Nice <laughs> to meet you. <laughs> yeah. I didn't know you had so many connections in town. Is that why you're back? Are you visiting family? I can't let any secrets come between me and Dante. I have to tell him the truth. It's a tough call. Dante's a rule follower. And he's Catholic. Abortion is a no-no. This could be a bigger deal than you and I realize. You don't think that I should tell him? Oh, that's your call. Okay, that's not my decision to make. I can tell you that you're a different person now than you were then. And you finally found the love that everyone wants out of life. You deserve to be happy. If Dante doesn't find out, one less issue for you guys to deal with. I, I have to go meet him at Jake's now, so I, I guess I'll just I'll play it by ear. I mean, I've seen Nicholas angry before, but not like this, not with me. I mean, he's so cold and resolved, like he doesn't care about me, only the baby. No, I think entitled is the word you're looking for. Exactly. I mean, it doesn't matter what I say. I'm just the baby incubator, and I don't know what to do about it. Elizabeth, look, I'm, I'm sorry that this is stressing you out, but I'm not going to get involved, you know? I mean, Nicholas is the father of your baby, and it's up to you guys to work this out. Are you saying you wouldn't care? The boys and I moved to Windermere. Look, I'll call you back. What's up? I've got news for you about Tracy. Oh, thank God she's calling somebody. You'd think she'd call her husband first, but no. Don't tell me. She's fallen in love with her masseur, and she's staying in Fiji. Tracy's not in Fiji. She never was, and she didn't call either. Edward grew suspicious after she blew off an EOQ board meeting, so he made some inquiries. Turns out Fiji was a false trail. Somebody was there, registered a room under her name, and used her credit cards, but it wasn't Tracy. Well, that could only mean one thing. What? My wife's been kidnapped. There's only one person who would do that. I'm afraid you're turning out to be a most disappointing, if not useless, hostage. 
Now, clearly, Luke has grown tired of his harping shrew of a wife. Don't you wish? Oh, I left him a trail that even a blind person without a guide dog could follow. Now, the Luke Spencer that I know would have already been here to come to your rescue. Nice try. And by the way, I'm not worried about my husband. He still has plenty of fire with which to deal with you. Oh, no, wait. It's water. Water is what melts witches, right? Oh, good try, little Dorothy. But don't try clicking your heels together. You're not going anywhere. And you'd better hope that Luke gets here soon because your value to me is decreasing by the minute. And if he doesn't get here quickly, I will cut my losses.